Welcome to the deep dive. Today, we're jumping into something pretty huge, actually. It's FreeCAD 1.0, took 22 years to get here. And uh, our sources, they're calling this a complete game changer for free CAD software. Real excitement around this one. Oh, absolutely. It's significant because, well, for years, FreeCAD was this you know promising tool, but mm. it kind of struggled against the big, expensive, professional CAD packages. It had these core technical problems holding it back, this 1.0 release. It tackles those head on. Right. So it wasn't just about adding features. It was fixing something fundamental. OK, let's unpack this. Our sources are really pointing to two massive problems that 1.0 finally solves. What were they? Exactly. So the first big one, the one everyone talks about, is the uh, the notorious topological naming problem. Ah, uh, yes. The model explosion issue. That's the one. You tweak one little thing, maybe change a fillet radius or something, and boom, suddenly other parts of your model just lost their references, mm -hmm. disconnected. It was honestly a nightmare. Models just exploding when you tried to edit them. Wasted hours, I imagine. Totally. This new algorithm, though, it makes edits stable, predictable. So for a designer, this is huge. You can actually iterate, refine things. Without that constant fear, your work's just going to fall apart. OK, that sounds like a massive quality of life improvement right there, a fundamental fix. So with that headache gone, the sources say the next critical thing is proper assembly support. Here's where it gets really interesting, right? Yeah, this is transformative. There's a whole new assembly workbench now. Mm. And it uses something called the O1L solver. Uh, basically that helps manage all the connections between parts, keeps them stable. Mm -hmm. So you can define different joint types like, you know, Revolute, cylindrical, that kind of thing. You can create exploded views for documentation, even generate bills of materials. All natively, without needing extra plugins. Exactly. No third-party add-ons needed for core assembly work anymore. You can build really complex multi-part assemblies now. Think machinery, products, lots of components. Engineers can build them virtually, piece by piece. It really brings FreeCAD into the professional league for that kind of work. And it wasn't just the guts. The interface got a major overhaul too, didn't it? I did. Looks much more modern. New dark and light themes, which people always appreciate. Little things too, like uh, rotational center indicators on the model task panel. Just makes interacting with the model smoother. Oh, and a brand new logo. Chosen by the community, actually. Gives it a fresh look. It feels more polished, more complete. And what's fascinating here is, despite all these really professional level upgrades, FreeCAD 1.0 is still completely free and open source. That's the kicker, isn't it? It really is. <laughs> Zero subscription fees. No features hidden behind a paywall. No vendor lock-in. You compare that to, say, SolidWorks. You're looking at thousands of dollars yeah. per user. Per year. Wow, thousands. That's a huge difference. It's a massive economic shift. It really democratizes access to these powerful design tools. It's not just a hobbyist thing anymore. So what does this all mean for you, the listener? Who should be downloading this right now? Well, our sources are pretty clear. Obviously, engineers, designers who need serious CAD. But maybe uh, the budget just isn't there for the big commercial licenses. Makes sense. Students, too. Definitely students learning 3D modeling, mm -hmm. hobbyists doing mechanical design, anyone into 3D printing. Uh, the potential user base is huge now. Okay, but it's not exactly like the tools they might be used to, right? There's a learning curve. Yes, that's important to mention. FreeCAD feels different if you're coming from SolidWorks or Fusion 360. The workflow, the way you approach things, it takes some getting used to. One source had a great analogy. It's like getting a Formula One engine in a kit car. Hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like that. Powerful, but needs assembly. Kind of. It's incredibly capable, and it costs you nothing but your time. But you do need to invest that time to learn how to really handle it effectively. This raises an important question, I, I think, for anyone listening. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to put in that effort to master a tool that could potentially save you thousands and unlock serious design power? It sounds like the answer for many people is increasingly going to be this. The core message from our sources is clear. FreeCAD 1.0, it's finally ready for serious professional work, all the capability, none of the price tag. Absolutely. And it leaves you thinking, doesn't it, about the bigger picture. What's the long-term impact when truly powerful, free, open-source tools like this start seriously competing in industries traditionally dominated by, well, very expensive proprietary software? What does that shift really mean for innovation, for accessibility in design and engineering down the road? Something to consider.